Let's talk about high blood pressure. High blood pressure can cause your blood vessel become stiffer and stiffer. So the blood vessel eventually blocked and the heart, kidney, and the brain will not get sufficient blood flow. Eventually, it will lead to stroke, heart attack, or kidney failure. So we need to prevent this detrimental disease in an early age. What caused high blood pressure? First, stress. When you are exposed to acute stress, adrenaline will be released into your blood. That will cause constriction of the blood vessels, and that increase your blood pressure. If this stress hormone is not cleared up, then later stage, the cortisol level will increase. That will make your body retain more water, and your blood pressure will go up. So the second reason causing the high blood pressure is high salt intake. And American people take too much salt every day. And that salt can cause constricting of the blood vessel by changing one of the enzyme activity. So if we can reduce the salt intake, we can also increase our magnesium and potassium level. That way, your blood vessel can be in a relaxing state because magnesium and potassium help the blood vessel relax. The smooth muscle on your blood vessel will be in a relaxing state. When you take too much salt, actually your salt will be, the sodium will be discharged through your kidney and the potassium magnesium will be discharged at the same time. And so in order to maintain an optimal level of the blood pressure, we can try by the end of day doing yoga, meditation, acupressure um, to reduce the stress. So your sympathetic nervous system will not be in a hyperactive state. Instead, it will be balanced with parasympathetic nervous system. When you are exposed to stress, your heart rate will not go up too high. Your fight or flight hormones will not go up high. Your cortisol level will not stay at higher level for a long time. That way your body can rebalance by the end of the day. If you try those methods and the blood pressure is still elevated, let's try some herbal tea. Chrysanthemum tea is a good tea. You can use this flower, three grams, soaking the hot water for five minutes to sip it through the day. And that not only relax you, cleanse your liver, also it benefits your throat, your eyes, and it helps your headache. The other uh, herbal tea you can use is white ginger tea, and that helps also relax you and produce some relaxing hormone. For instance, endorphin or dopamine to make you happy. So you won't expect, uh, expose to the acute stress in an unnecessary strong way. And the other herbal tea my patient used a lot, two, three times a day when they were first diagnosed as high blood pressure is hibiscus tea. This bitter tea not only clearing the heat cleanse your liver, but also it provides sufficient magnesium, potassium, different minerals which are necessary for relaxing your smooth muscle on the blood vessel. And after you try all of this, if your blood pressure is still elevated when you get to doctor's office, let's try acupuncture once a week for six times or 10 times, then every other week for 10 times, then you can switch to once a month to just maintain your stress level at lower um, level so that your body 
will not respond with constricting of the peripheral blood vessels.